So I'm going to continue now with a question from Mike, because I like this question a lot, Mike. Why is Parliament not being considered as an essential service? I agree with you, Mike. Canadians making less than $17 an hour are working hard, while the Liberals, Bloc, and NDP are claiming virtual sittings are enough. Mike, I totally, completely agree with you. Like I answered a couple of other times to other people, um, democracy is an essential service. The government exists to be tested on its ideas, tested on its policies and what it is rolling out. Uh, Jacob Rees-Mogg, so the Honorable Jacob Rees-Mogg, who is the House Leader on the government side for the UK Tories, said that he wanted the opposition to ask questions in Parliament because what he wanted was to stop groupthink amongst ministers and he thought of it as a positive thing. Now, I don't know why the Canadian government, why uh, the government House Leader here, the Liberal House Leader we have, doesn't believe that Parliament can play that effective role because that is our job. It's literally to test whether what the government is doing is, is good and accurate and whether we are getting the information that we need. You know, when I was coming here today into the office to do this digital town hall, I got a cup of coffee from Tim Hortons. Uh, my, uh, my lunch was provided to me by Uber Eats and the second cup was still operating. And I agree with you, these people who are working wage jobs usually, some of which aren't eligible for some of the government programs, they're an essential service, just like democracy is an essential service for you. So I believe the parliament should be eating, meeting more often and we can limit the, sit the, the sittings to less parliamentarians so that we reduce the risk, but nothing is risk free. And I think there's a very responsible way to have a sitting like we had on April 20th, which is why I'm in Ottawa. Uh, we had a responsible way to do our jobs and to fulfill our obligations as elected parliamentarians. And just to speak about the block for a moment, I could think of no other dream scenario for the separatist bloc to shut down the Canadian parliament, which is exactly what they've done. This is their dream come true. This is what they exist for, to break up the country and to shut down the Canadian parliament. So of course they would be happy. The question we should be asking is why are the federal liberals making it easier for the bloc to get their way? So Mike, that would be my answer to that question, but I thank you for asking it.